In a prior video, my wife and I discussed her smart home wish list. One thing that she wanted was a way to add items to our shopping list using her voice. You might be in the middle of cooking and realize you're low on a particular ingredient. Adding it to your grocery list by voice can be really convenient. Now, there are a bunch of ways to do this depending on your goals and what smart home platforms and voice assistants you are using. I'm going to show you several options and I'll leave links in the video description if you want to go deeper on any one of them. The first consideration is which voice assistant do you want to interact with when adding an item to your shopping list? This comes down to the devices you already own or are interested in getting. We have Amazon Echo and Sonos speakers all around our home, so one option for us was my wife and I also use iPhone and Apple Watch, so Siri was another consideration. And then there's Home Assistant, our main smart home platform, which has its own built-in conversation agent known as Assist. If you just wanna add an item to a shopping list by voice and have it appear in the app or the iOS reminders app, this just works today. You can simply tell or Siri to add milk to your shopping list or whatever item you want and you're good to go. If it's your first time trying this with Siri, it may tell you, I didn't find a shopping list. Do you want to create one? Saying yes will add this list to the Reminders app in iOS. But my goal was to make this work in Home Assistant and I'll show you about half a dozen ways that you might do this organized by Voice Assistant. Since our ultimate goal was to have the shared shopping list viewable in Home Assistant, I started with Assist, which again is the native conversation agent for Home Assistant. But making this hands-free was going to be difficult since at the time of making this video, I did not possess a device that supports wake word detection for Assist. You may already have this capability if you build your own solution using Raspi and an ESP32 S3 box. Just as I was working on this video, Home Assistant announced the release of Home Assistant Voice Preview Edition, their first official voice hardware. If you have that, well, this should get a lot easier. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out when my video on that device drops. Well, one thing you can do right now without any special hardware is add an assist widget to the iOS lock screen. A single click on that widget brings up assist listening for your voice command. While this works, it requires physically touching the phone and my wife asked for a hands-free voice solution, so that wasn't gonna work. This got me wondering, how could I make this work using other devices that I already owned? From there, I then turned to Amazon's voice assistant since she is listening from every corner of my home and has a native shopping list feature. I thought this was going to be the best route for us, not only because of our countless Echo devices, but also because we've started ordering groceries from Amazon Fresh. According to Amazon's website, you should be able to say something like, add eggs to my Fresh cart. The same is supposed to be true if you order from Whole Foods. However, no matter what item I tried to add and whether or not that item was already added to our shopping list, this never worked. Instead, it would respond, I couldn't find anything for eggs or whatever item I asked it to add. We even have a jar of Amazon Fresh peanut butter that says right on the packaging to try saying, add Amazon Fresh Creamy Peanut Butter to my Fresh Cart. Frustratingly, this did not work. I've seen others complain of similar issues online without a clear resolution. I even contacted customer service, but this did not resolve my issue. So I went back to the original plan of trying to add an item to the shopping list by voice and then finding a way to make it sync with Home Assistant. While adding an item to the shopping list by voice is fast and easy, 
The syncing part with Home Assistant is hard. In summer 2024, Amazon announced it was shutting down developer access to shopping and to-do list APIs, making this task more complicated. Previously, you could have used an app like AnyList or Grossy to manage your shopping list across platforms. I was already using a custom component called Media Player that exposed my Echo devices to Home Assistant. I thought this might allow for shopping list syncing, but turns out it does not. In my quest for a solution, I found a custom component that synchronizes Amazon and Home Assistant shopping lists, which I was pumped about. This uses a server to access your shopping list on Amazon and then a component added to Home Assistant to sync the shopping list between the two places. While it sounds quite simple, installation is not as beginner friendly. It makes use of Docker containers and Python scripts, and I wanted to see if I could find something simpler. This led me to another option that uses Node-RED as a Home Assistant add-on. I've known about Node-RED for years, but I have yet to take the plunge, so I thought this might be the time. But since it requires setting up a new add-on and creating various input helpers, I was still curious if there was an even simpler way. This led me to Siri, who is always at the ready on our phones, watches, and computers. Here, I found several options to consider. The first is using an app called Our Groceries. This is a grocery list app for iOS and Android, but I'll focus on iOS. The app integrates with Apple's Siri and Amazon. So you can use your voice to add items to your Our Groceries grocery list. For example, you can say, hey Siri, add milk with Our Groceries. You can then sync your shopping list between Our Groceries and Home Assistant using the Our Groceries integration. This will create a new shopping list within the to-do list of Home Assistant. You will have to create an Our Groceries account for this to work. But if you're not keen to download another app or create a third-party app account, there is an alternative. You can use the iOS Reminders app that comes bundled with every iPhone plus Office 365. For this to work, you create a free Outlook.com address, set up your Office 365 integration with Home Assistant, and sync to-do tasks between the two. However, the developer of the Office 365 integration indicated that the integration is moving toward end of life, so you may soon have to find another solution. This led me to find one final way, at least for now, to add items to Home Assistant shopping list using voice. Using the iOS Shortcuts app pre-installed on iPhone, you can create a shortcut that will listen to dictated text and add that text to your shopping list in Home Assistant without the need to install or have that item appear in some other smart home platform or app. Now we can say, Siri, add to shopping list. Then we can say the item, milk. It would be better, of course, if we could just say, add milk to shopping list without the little back and forth. So that's at least half a dozen ways you might add a shopping list item by voice to Home Assistant. For our needs, the Our Groceries and iOS shortcuts options are the easiest to set up and to use. Our Groceries has the benefit of working with both Amazon and Apple voice assistants, whereas Shortcuts has the benefit of not requiring any additional app or account for it to work. But neither is perfect. They both require you to make your voice request in a very specific way for it to work, which can be annoying. As mentioned, this task will become much easier with the recent release of Home Assistant Voice Preview Edition hardware if you choose to pick that up. But I know not everyone wants to buy a new device to make something work, so I wanted to show several options. Let me know in the comments how you are managing shared shopping lists in your smart home and any other methods that I did not cover. If you're interested in what else was on my wife's smart home wish list besides voice-based shopping lists, I'll leave a link for that video. If you're interested in supporting this channel, consider becoming a channel member or picking up some of my smart home merch 
using the links in the description. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel for tech reviews and tutorials that help you become more productive. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Add Amazon Fresh Creamy Peanut Butter to my Fresh Cart. I couldn't find anything for Amazon Fresh Creamy Peanut Butter.